Hey lovely people, thank you for checking out this video. So I'm going to be going over the Apple Watch Series 6, how have I been doing with it, how have I found it, how has it been going for me, what's my experience of it three months later. So if you're looking to basically get Apple Watch and you want to find out how it's been for others like myself, then keep watching this video. I'm going to be going through my experience with the Apple Watch Series 6. Let's get started. Right guys, thank you for checking out this video. For those that have already subscribed recently, thank you, I appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe at the bottom, click the subscribe tab, hit the notification bell and like this video if you enjoy it. Guys, so if you recall, if you've watched the, the first video I did uh, with the Apple Watch Series 6 and uh, I versed that off with the Fitbit, uh, I can't remember the exact model now. <laughs> That's not a good start. But yeah, uh, I did a comparison video with the Fitbit and I'll put a, a link for that at the top or maybe at the, in the description below. So at that point, I had initially just got the Apple Watch and I haven't really had a time to test it. Uh, the Fitbit at that time I did test, uh, but from obviously the comparison, they were both kind of had advantages and disadvantages in different respects. In this video, I'm gonna be going three months later in terms of Sorry, I'm gonna be going over three months later what I'm thinking and what's my experience been over the, in terms of the Apple Watch Series 6. Now, I do need to clarify at the forefront, I haven't obviously had a time to use all features because there might be features that are just not relevant that I would be touching upon, uh, but I would be going over things that I have tested out and I have noticed, so please bear that in mind. It's not gonna be a fully descriptive video regarding everything. Let's get straight into the video and start with the first category. So the first thing, uh, I want to go over is the battery and performance so heavily focusing on the battery actually so previously I owned the Apple Watch series I think it was the 4 model and what I noticed with the Apple Watch series 4 the battery would pretty much not last the full shift when I was working so I would do an 8 hour shift and it would pretty much be I think at 70 to 80 percent uh, I think around the five to six hour mark. And I wasn't doing a heavy usage, it was just, the battery was just going, essentially. With this one, guys, I'm actually really, really surprised. I, I, I've, I've gotta be honest, guys, I'm really surprised with this uh, Apple Watch Series 6. I would say this is fundamentally the biggest pro of this watch, the battery life. So this, if I put this on, say, I'm doing an example now, so if I wear this from this morning and at the end of the day if I look at the percentage of battery this is what I've noticed it's pretty much still above 70% the whole day is gone and it's at 70% still guys that's fantastic because it's a headache like with my iPhone I'm constantly charging it it doesn't last me the full day um, it would basically the battery would be drained out this is lasting the whole day it, this is even a big thing for me. I know they say it should be around 18 hours battery life. I was I honestly wasn't expecting that from my past experience Apple watches haven't really fully met that criteria This this has outdone itself. So battery life. It's uh, five stars. It's, it's brilliant It does you know does the job it will last you long So if you're looking for something that would at least last a day like come on uh, This is it particularly in terms of how long it lasts um, like continuously like in terms of if I don't charge it, it it lasts me easily two days no problem two days and that's you know I can't ask for more because it is um, it is running a lot more than say something like a Fitbit um, obviously if it lasts the whole week I'll be like partying because that'd be fantastic but yeah I don't expect that from my Apple Watch so battery life guys fantastic that's a five star right there. So next thing I just wanna go over is the design. Now, in terms of the design, obviously when you purchase the watch, you're aware of the aesthetics of the watch, how it looks like. So it's not technically, I'm gonna be going over the design like I've changed my mind uh, three months later that it doesn't look nice. The design still looks fantastic. However, in terms of, let's say the durability. So if we go over the durability, um, 
in terms of how this they made the design they the thought out material to use um i can't see many scratches at all on this guys so you won't be able to see it but i'm not seeing that many marks on this watch after three months and even the back it looks pretty much new pretty much new there's not much wear and tear on this and this is just to let you know it's a stainless steel model stainless steel model and it had originally come with uh, these straps here so from what I, I think when I check these straps online the magnetic straps here they were around uh, I think over a hundred pounds or maybe even over a hundred pounds which is ridiculous because they do come a little bit loose so just be wary guys the magnetic apple strap that comes well i purchased it with this specific strap you can choose which strap you purchase it with i wouldn't trust this too much especially if it's holding your expensive apple watch with magnets um it does come loose so yeah what i did is i just changed that the the watch strap for my old um apple watch series watch strap and that's there that came with the previous apple watch i've just switched it over now this is just much better now i know that it's safely on my arm and it's not going to fall off but the apple strap uh you can change you can buy it on amazon you can buy it from third party dealers there's not really a deal breaker that you have to buy it uh authorized from apple watch and you know it's it's one of those things that you're not always going to wear the same strap you're going to feel like changing it up so yeah you want to kind of leave that uh open and not spend well you can spend too, lots of money but that's kind of your own preference so yeah design wise i still think it looks incredibly beautiful uh it's holding up really well no issues no damage um I'm a i was a little bit worried about the screen because there's obviously glass uh but yeah it's doing pretty well so i'm happy in that regard all right so the next thing i'm going to be going over is the health and fitness features so so what i do is guys a lot of walking so i do a lot of walking um i do do a lot of, like say high intensity exercise but what i've noticed is, as soon as i go on my walk it picks up things very very quickly so it detects that i'm walking and it alerts me on the screen it brings up a message that you know are, are you walking you want to start this timer and it will start calculating how long you've walked for the intensity the calories burned which is really really good because it's got that automatic detection feature which is fantastic um and then also it records the health and fitness uh, details pretty well so i'm just gonna the screen is locked at this moment um and then yeah if you have a look here uh you're not going to be able to see but i'll take a better screenshot of that it records the statistics in terms of what you're doing really really well i'm impressed and even on the phone it looks really really good um the data in terms of it being accurate i would say is because i'm comparing it sometimes i wear this silly enough i do wear this and i have the fit on my other arm just as a comparison to see the step difference and they're both very comparable there's not much of a difference between the two so i think that the step count feature it's you know it's holding up well uh, in terms of when i do hit training um it doesn't pick up very quickly i'm doing that kind of training even though my heart rate is shooting up pretty quickly so I'm a little bit confused why it doesn't pick up on that kind of thing but it picks up on walking pretty quickly so I don't really have much to say in that regard it doesn't affect me too much to be fair um, so it's, I wouldn't say much that is an issue what I would say is a tad bit of an issue is it doesn't pick up heart rate well now that's what I've noticed um, when I'm doing high intensity exercise and I will look at this on my arm sometimes the heart rate would appear as something like 110 when you know it's flying at like 140 plus so I'm not exactly sure why it doesn't pick that up that I would say that is a little bit of an issue in this regard um, but I would say that that is about 20% of the time. The other majority of the time, it's it's fine. But I, I would say it's still yeah, glitch. You're missing out on important statistics if you're focused on the health and fitness side of things. So yeah, that's something to be wary of. Otherwise, generally, uh, the health and fitness feature, I think it's been pretty good uh, for my needs. Obviously, I've not 
had tested it uh, expansively uh, or extendedly or to a great deal because it's, uh, it's just things I just don't use too much other than the general health and fitness feature on this watch. All right, so guys, uh, otherwise uh, I can't really provide a more expansive review in terms of the rest of the features because I don't really use them. So I can only provide you a review in terms of what I have used this watch for, how it's been okay in terms of what I have used it for and uh, essentially how it's done these last three months. And I can honestly say, guys, it's been amazing to have this uh, part in my arsenal when I do go out. Uh, it looks fantastic fantastic it does a fantastic job of not dying quickly it looks yeah like I said it looks great and uh, yeah the health and fitness features definitely are a core part of uh, basically help, helping me monitoring my health and fitness uh, element so yeah it's all in all it's been a fantastic watch uh, I can't say much more than that so yeah yeah it's been a fantastic watch and that's all I really wanted to go through for you guys I don't want to make this watch too um, this video too long uh, for this purpose just wanted to pre pretty much provide a nutshell on my thoughts on this specific watch um, guys thank you for checking this video uh, if you did like it hit the like button please do subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to this channel and I'll catch you in the next video see ya